everybody and welcome to another computer video. Uh, today we're actually starting on Dirty Floor Civilization because I don't have desk room for giant computers such as this one. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at this computer which is an IBM PS value point from 1993, 1994, not entirely sure. Uh, this is by, by far the slowest hardest to use computer I own. It's hard to use because of its speed. This thing has a 486 in it, which, like, is not that bad. Uh, however, apparently, it's no cache in this computer. Like, the, the hit emulator no cache GBA? This is the no cache compute. So it is, it is ungodly slow. This is the most unpleasant to use computer I've ever used. But that's definitely not helped by its operating system, which right now is Windows 95, because some maniac put that on there. It wasn't me. No. Uh, liars will claim to recognize this from a very, very old video of mine, uh, but chances are. You haven't seen that and never will, but it was in that video. Cut to it being in that video. So what I'm going to try to do today is get rid of Windows 95 and install DOS with Windows 3.1 on this thing, because that's gotta run better than Windows 95. Windows 95 runs horribly. It takes a solid minute to open the media player to play a MIDI. To finish drawing the media player, that's like another minute. It's horrible. Let's just crack this thing open and uh, put in another hard drive. Now, the first time I tried opening this after a couple years of not touching it, uh, I thought it was, like, impossible to open, but it turns out I was just bad. Instead of this part, so this this front part is plastic, everything behind here is metal. I thought that this metal part came off that way, but I was wrong. The whole thing slides off the front. That's, I don't know why IBM made it that way, but the whole exterior is just a solid enclosure. But now we have access to all the internals in their internal glory. Jeez, you cannot see in there. Time to get a flashlight. So as you can see, in Horrible White Balance Civilization here, we've got... We have a Sound Blaster 16 sound card with lots of dust. Uh, just more ISA slots than I think exist anywhere else on the planet and a modem. Yeah. Who needs that? This computer actually has two hard drives in it. The first one we have is this this hard drive. Nice angle, buckaroo. Oh, free IDE, let's go. And the second hard drive is this Mac store guy on the top. This is like the 28th Mac store I've come into contact with, I swear. There are so many of these. Now, I don't want to wipe either of these hard drives because there's cherished old family files on them, I'm sure. So we're going to be unplugging these hard drives. I, I'm not going to bother unplugging this one from Molex because I tried to do that earlier and it felt like it was about to break. So let's just uh, let's go in there and unplug that IDE. That's one drive free. Now this... Now this one might be a bit of a pain. Not for the IDE, the IDE is easy peasy. That's why, that's why that rhymes. See, I already got the IDE free. The problem is Molex. I guess the problem isn't Molex, cause it's just, whatever, whatever, I'm going crazy. Okay, I actually have a couple hard drives lined up now that I could try. The first of which is this Seagate OEM drive. Uh, which was graciously donated to me by a friend. Thank you. Try to plug that in here. Now, I'm not gonna mount it. Like, I'm not gonna fasten it in here quite yet, because I don't know if this is gonna work. So, you know, so there's our new HDD plugged right on into our IBM PS value. Now, I actually have the cable for the camera now. So, I don't need to have to recharge my battery every two seconds, which is a, a huge plus. Slide you out of the way. Now with the old, in with the 
stupid freaking ancient. Now, you may be wondering like me, why does this horrible computer that has bottom of the barrel specs, bottom of the barrel price, and bottom of the barrel everything have so many freaking ISA slots? Because it wasn't bottom of the barrel. And my honest answer is I have no clue. Now, this is kind of precarious, but it'll work for now. Okay, I'm going to leave the case enclosure off for now because I don't know if this computer's going to like that hard drive. The other computer I tried that hard drive with did not like it, so... Already got noises. Is it post? That's video out, so it still functions. Always a plus! Okay, now this thing takes 10 freaking years to count up its 20 megabytes of RAM. So, you know, grab some popcorn, get cozy, because we're gonna be here for a damn long time. I should say there's no OS, so it's beeping. Because the CMOS is dead. The CMOS is dead. Disket drive, hard disk error. That's not a very good sign. Let's see if it detects our Seagate. 528 megs. I'm joking me, that ain't right. Remember, hard disk one is this. And it's supposed to be like bigger than that. Let me make sure that the yeah, the other hard drive is not plugged in. So this is the Seagate we're dealing with here. Funny how modern BIOS screens look almost exactly like this one still to this day. Currently hoping that this computer can boot from CDs, because you know, you never know what's something this old and bad. Here is our unlabeled dot. That is see-through, dude. That's creepy. And here's our unlabeled DOS disk. Just... That is depressing sounding. It's counting up RAM again. We're gonna be here for another two decades. In an ideal universe, this will just work first time's a charm. And we won't need to bust out our backup hard drive here. In case we ever have to use this drive, here's what it is. A Quantum Fireball Plus! Okay, uh, well, let's hope that it just works, you know. So we don't have to put in the Quantum Fireball Plus. Hey, now you can see yourself. You know what, you can't see the capacity because I don't think it says. What the hell? Okay, I think this is this computer's graphic that says to put in a floppy and press F1. So I'm gonna... Frick, we're gonna need to make floppies for this aren't we? I have one floppy, which I know I can use, let me find another one. There's another possibly usable floppy. Now, I don't think I've gotten any messages about my choice of decor, um, which I guess I'm thankful for because, you know, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> Show up doesn't slowly count up the RAM again. That would seriously suck. If it does, that's just more time for me to make the second floppy. Oh, I hear floppy disk action. And I see errors. That error's new. Okay, enter. I sure hope it can boot the setup. Good CD-ROM. Oh boy, MS-DOS 7. Point 10. And it has the mouse. It's sick. I agree to all of your telemetry. Not that there's gonna be very much telemetry in DOS. And fuck. It looks like... Looks like it sucks. Drink. Uh, hey, at least we get an A prompt, right? Yeah, so we can F this. This sucks and see what we have to do. Okay, F disk. You're joking me. Format. Help. Me. Ah. 
damn you to hell. Damn you all to the skies below. Floppy disk, you make me want to floppy die. Floppy floppy disk, floppy floppy disk, floppy floppy disk, floppy floppy disk, floppy disk. Floppy disk. We will, we will flop you. First, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna put in the 95 OSR2 boot disk. OSR2 actually stands for, of course, serious, really good, too. Too confident about this hard drive. It didn't work in my far more reliable computer, so. I even zeroed it out, like entirely. I used a Linux command to zero out that hard drive. No CD ROM support because I already tried all these and none of them work. I did that off screen like a week ago. A week ago being that way. That's it, buddy. You're going downtown for that one. Okay, so we're gonna need to swap out drives. No biggie. I didn't. Fuck. Knocked off the power button. Okay, so. The Seagate is a no go. Which leaves me with. That. Sliding camera. Quantum fireball. Not that you can see it. Time to unplug this one. Yeah, I'm plugged from power. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, this is more attuned to what I remember. Molex on the system being like, I swear, I I struggle with Molex in every video. There, Jesus Christ. Yep. There we go. One freed Seagate. And we have our Quantum Fireball Plus. It's probably also too big. Hello, camera. You know, it's always worth a shot, right? Am I stupid? This was the 98 drive from the 98 computer. It's, it's a spare now, for reasons. Tune in next week. Let's power on the computer. After plugging it back in, of course. Jeez. I hope it doesn't try to boot Windows 98. That'd suck. <laughs> 98 on this. RAM counting scene? I have a question for you viewers who are at this point in the video. Do you like these? I'm worried that I'm polarizing like half of you by uploading these computer videos because I know a lot of you uh, found this YouTube channel and liked, commented, and subscribed because of other types of videos that aren't these. So, feedback is appreciated. No hard disk error, that's good. I'm feeling confident. I think I'm gonna try whichever one of these is the boot disk for DOS 7. Because, you know, no hard disk error. Hard disk 520 make still not right. But you never know with these things. You never freaking know. Killer again? Kinda, what kind of spooky viruses are on this floppy? No wonder the hard drive doesn't work, am I right? It's because of viruses and not. Not because of hard drives that aren't compatible with a computer this old and stupid. Okay, DOS 7, set up. Next, next, next. Uh, it's a different error. Yeah, uh, do we fuck it up or fuck it up? I'm feeling risky. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Trailing backslash. Trailing backslash. Just install it on C. I don't care. No trailing backslash! What does that even mean, dude? Cancel. Yes. I put it on the Windows 95 disk, use its command com, and hope that that, like, fixes it magically. It doesn't work. If this does Okay, just works. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely Fallout 4 song. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely. God damn it, god damn it. Control Octi Elite the computer. Uh, I would bust out my worst enemy if this doesn't work. I don't have. Funnily enough, I don't have any SD cards small enough, so. You know, that's kind of out of the question. Please work! I'm counting on you. What else have we got before? Everything. Yes. Okay, so the Windows 98 install is gone now. Who cares? Great DOS partition. Yes. Yes. Can we go to C? We don't have C. I'm gonna switch out floppies and hope that DOS 7 likes it more now. Control Alt Delete the computer IBM. I really hope that this works today. M. Some familiar messages, but we're gonna hear about that killer soon. As expected. I hope it works. Format the partition. Hey, it's doing something with it. That is always a plus. It's 503 megabytes, which I am like 90% sure is not the size of that hard drive, but you know. Who cares? It's going. It won't work! You've seen this one before. Yes. Hey, that's closer. That's closer. Okay. Next. Yes. What? What? No! Okay. Good thing I have disc two right here, ready to go. Haha. <laughs> Funny quip. Mm-hmm. Good thing I have disc two. Can skip it. Whatever. I wrote it. I'm gonna use it. I guess I'm not gonna use it. This looks a lot like the Windows 98 stuff. I don't, I don't want to install add-ons. I just want to get DOS booting. DOS startup logo? Yeah, that sounds sick. Yes, I do. Load both. Uh -huh. I'm using English in the United States because I'm a damn, 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 damn person. Okay, reboot. Let's see if it can boot from our hard drive. Bad serial port. Uh, I think so. That looks so stupid, dude. Okay. Hey, it booted. No floppies in. I think. Oh, there's a help thing on this. There's a thing blocking your view. Okay. Okay. We have our DOS, which is honestly more than I expected to be able to do. I didn't think that we were going to get this working, if I'm being honest. Since DOS is now on the computer, I think we can mount that hard drive in and stop having this computer be naked, because that's NSFW, bro. So let's shut it down and attend to that. Okay, here's where our HDDs live. We're gonna need to unscrew that one to mount our new one here. Oh, our new one. I really, really don't want to lose this 95 installation, so actually, I might want to use this hard drive somewhere else, and I'm going to image it first before I do that. But anyway, it's time to do the ritual of installing a different hard disk. Equally as magical every single time. It's also equally as freaking terrifying. Now there's one screw on the other side which I'm gonna do off screen and just Ooh, I like that. This already loops. There's only there's one screw on the other side and I'm going to attend to it. Off screen. Foot loose. Put on your Sunday shoes. Jack, get back. 
Stop smoking crack. Don't do drugs. They'll give you a bad back. Okay. It is kind of floating. It's scary. Okay. Screwing in there, and you saw that lift up. Trying to get the other screws. Screw number three. I think there's supposed to be four, but one of them already wasn't here, so. What can, what can you do? Now that is an installed hard disk drive. And here's our 95 installation. Drive. Mac store. Backlit shots are the best. Shit. Cables and move around, aren't there? Go in. Isn't that spiffy? This computer may perform badly, but that is a good looking computer. Now let's plug our peripherals back in and get this show back on the road. I'm really hoping that. The Sound Blaster 16 will work in Windows 3.1, which I do plan to install because you know I'm I'm still MIDI brained, and I hope that the MIDI player will work with that. And I hope that it runs better than it did. Now let's power this thing on in video after the year 2018 for the first time. Now those are the sounds of a future bomb. I can't wait to explode. I hope that still boots. Counting RAM again, I see. A lovely day to be a RAM counter. It's a beautiful irony. If I installed Windows 95 on this computer. I won't do it. But it'd be really, really funny. Okay. Do we see that beautiful DOS screen? After the bad serial port error, of course. Oh yeah, here's our processor that we're dealing with. 46DX2. Not the best thing on the planet, but you know. It'll get the job done for forever because I was covering it with my hand. Well, I hope I got a screen grab of it the last time I showed up because that's a, a beautifully gross looking startup splash screen. Now, it looks like it tried a bunch of CD-ROM drivers and none of them worked, which tracks with my experience. CDs in this thing. They don't like to work. So now we're here on this bare bones basic MS-DOS setup screen. It's Windows 3.1 time. My Packer Bell keyboard. It's just That's the sound of typing bliss. Well, it looks like this is gonna be one of those things where I know I have it somewhere, but it's not here. So I'm gonna need to make some Windows 3.11 installation disks, and luckily I have just the right amount of floppies to get it done. Here's Windows for work groups. This one. Let's put it in and see if it functions. Set up. I shouldn't bang the computer while it's moving. Moving? No, while it's loading. Uh, this is a beautiful screen. I did not expect to get here. This computer's been kicking me in the A asterisk asterisk lately, so... This is a shock. Uh, yep. Wait. We're gonna want a custom setup. That looks correct to Mundo to me. Quick, gotta, gotta make this too. Oh, it's it finished. I didn't need disk three. Oh boy, Windows setup. This is a wacky looking setup screen. Oh boy, your full name, your company, your product number. Ugh. Okay, good thing I have my certificate of authenticity right here. Okay, apparently we don't need that. Yeah. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. 
actually stupid pants games color me excited <laughs> shit needs more discs a one percent I think this calls for a time-lapse segment recorded on the world's worst webcam. It'll be time-lapse time. And let's go. computer is booting up again, now with Windows 3.11 installed. Uh, Keen-eyed viewers may have noticed in that speed-up segment that there were some file copying errors. I hope that doesn't make it unbootable. I can't freaking type! Let's see if it works. Work groups, works groups. Hey, we have Windows 3.1 right here. We are going to want that hot dog stand theme. Hell yes. My eyes are bleeding with happiness. Now let's go into paintbrush and make a beautiful desktop background to celebrate this triumphus, <laughs> triumphant occasion. This mouse is horrible. Sensitivity is atrocious. Oh, God. Oh, this is this is something all right. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, that's the best A I think I've ever seen. Let's draw Devious Joe. And there's Devious Joe. Devious. No. Oh. <laughs> Joe. Mm, yeah, that's it. Okay, I think we have a working 3.11 A. Installation. Let me let's fix this A. Beautiful A. Now that is what I'm talking about. Let's get some uh, oranges in one of the 16 colors. Save as. We're saving this as epic.bmp. Now close. Get out. Right, there's no freaking way that the sound works right out of the box. Guess none is where we're going. Drivers, let's see. Oh, God. It's not very many. These aren't very helpful settings. You can sound. Can't test them because we don't have the drivers. Uh, let me see. I'm for some sound blasts for 16 Windows 3.1 drivers. Disk creation complete. Let's put it in. And uh, let's try to do it in Windows because why the hell not, you know? A. A is for A. Oh, it's hoping to get in DOS inside Windows. That's kind of freaked up, dude. Ah, love. Lovely, 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 lovely. Ah. Uh. Shit. So we're gonna need to close Windows. I'm honestly pretty surprised that Windows worked. I'm not used to things just working like that. Now it's doing it, okay. I'm just simply thrilled about the prospect of this functioning. <laughs> I can't wait. So it was both bad floppies and B being kind of stupid. <laughs> because you already did that. Wait, no. Oh, I'm done. Okay, it's time to reboot the system. It's just a mess of floppies on top of this poor computer. There's so much stuff with it that it doesn't want to do, probably. It's better than trying to run 95 on it, because oof, that was horrible. Looks like it did it. Now let's see. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Yeah. 
so close. It's so far. Let's try again. That doesn't look like it's a good thing. This looks like a bad thing. Okay. Um, okay. Um, well, Windows may be temporarily destroyed, but let me try to copy some minis and a mini player to this floppy drive so we can at least hopefully get some audio out of this thing. Not that I can capture it because I lost the cable that I need to do that. Okay. I've got some minis and a mini player on this disc. Fingers crossed, it'll work. Jesus Christ, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Alright, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see if we get any audio. Audio would be very, very nice. It'd be preferable, as a matter of fact. We don't got shit. Want to hear the proof? Listen to this. Not that's the sound of, that's the sound of nothing. We don't got nothing playing through this right now. Um, okay guys, well, thanks for watching. We got a DOS install and a Windows install, which, which burned bright but not for long, to finally have non-functional MIDI playback. Thank you for watching this. It's really, really, really great video.